In this video, I want to take a look at solving absolute value equations graphically. So if you caught the previous video, we looked at solving three different absolute value equations algebraically. So let's go ahead and investigate those same three equations, but let's solve them by using a graph instead. In this first example, we have the absolute value of 2x minus 3, and that's equivalent to 11. So what we're going to do in order to graph this equation is to split it up into the left side and the right side, and we're going to take each side and set it equal to y. So that's what this will look like. So now we have two separate equations, y equals the absolute value of 2x minus 3, and y equals 11. So we can graph both of those, and you'll see the one in red and one in blue, and actually those graphs uh, intersect, and it looks like they intersect at two points, and those points are on the left negative 411, and on the right 711. So go back to our original equation, remember that we're trying to solve for x, so what we actually care about graphically here are the x coordinates of those points of intersection. So we care about x equals negative 4 and x equals 7. So as we go back to that original equation, the absolute value of 2x minus 3 equals 11, what we can say about that now is that x equals negative 4 and 7. And we'd solve this graphically by taking each side of the equation and graphing it on our coordinate system and seeing the points of intersection and just grabbing those x-coordinates from those ordered pairs. And if you watched the first video, you'll remember that x did equal negative 4 and 7 in that example when we solved it algebraically. So in this second example, we have a little longer equation. We have negative 4 times the absolute value of x plus 3. We're going to add 11 to that, and all that's going to be equal to negative 13. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to take each side of that equation and go ahead and put y equals. And so now we have two separate equations that we can graph. So we have the absolute value in red, and we have our constant function here in blue. And once again, you'll see there are two points of intersection, and those ordered pairs will be negative 9, negative 13, and 3, negative 13. So what we can take away from those ordered pairs are the x-coordinates. So we have x equals negative 9 and x equals 3. So when we go back and look at our original equation, what we can say is the solutions are x equals negative 9 and 3. And again, those are just the x-coordinates of all the points of intersections when I take each side of the equation and go ahead and graph them. And here's our third and final example. We have the absolute value of 9x minus 4, and we're going to add 5 to that, and we're saying that equals 2. So, once again, we're going to take each side of the equation and set y equal to it. And so we have one in red and one in blue, and when we graph them, it looks like this. Well, an interesting situation here, where are the points of intersection? Well, actually, these two graphs don't ever intersect. So since they have no points of intersection, what do we say about their solution? Well, going back to their original equation, what we can say is there is no solution. And when you solve this algebraically, we can subtract 5 from both sides, and you'll have an absolute value equaling a negative 3. So, of course, we know the absolute value can't equal a negative number. So, once again, if you caught the first video when we solved it algebraically, this has no solution. So, just like solving any equation algebraically, we can solve them graphically by setting each side of the equation equal to y, and then kind of inspecting the graphs of the equations and seeing where we have points of intersection. But remember, it's the x-coordinate of these points of intersection that we're interested in, and those will be the x-values that are solutions to our equations. So be sure to subscribe to my channel for more upcoming math videos.